And they believe he was on something. They're not exactly sure exactly what he was on just yet. But right now at ORMC, this family is praying for this UCF student to recover. This road is where the UCF senior was hit while investigators say she was walking in the grass off of the road. People who live near this corner on Napiers and Pasteur say it quickly became an emotional scene. I came out and then like I saw like a whole family crying and stuff. The crash left 21 year old London Harrell in critical condition. FHP says this man, Yusuf Hassan, was driving the car and in court this weekend, Harold's father spoke, saying her family fears that she won't survive. Our daughter is in ICU in extremely critical condition. She is missing parts of her skull and her brain matter was splattered on the car that hit her. Troopers say after Hassan hit Harold early on Saturday morning, he drove away and ended up in a parking lot off University Boulevard. A deputy allegedly found him laying on the ground behind his car. Investigators say he appeared to have been unconscious. He was under the influence, we don't believe of alcohol, but of some type of drug. When he was taken for a breath test, a deputy said Hassan was extremely talkative, saying things including, since I got a DUI, what's my alcohol level? I am having a boy. I love my girl. If I hit her, then how do I have blood in my car? FHP says Hassan was actually involved in two hit and runs near UCF that night. No one was hurt in the first one. At the hearing, Harold's father asked the judge to keep him in jail. Our family pleads with the court to deny bond and to prevent this monster from harming anyone else as we await the judicial process. Now, even so, Hassan was granted bond. He was able to get out after posting about $11,500 in bail money. He, though, uh, the judge, though, did order him not to drive a car, also not to operate anything that has a motor on it while he's out on bond. Of course, those charges could be upgraded if the victim dies. Reporting live at ORMC, Bob Hazen, West 2 News.